Hi, everybody. It's Mark Russian of markrushin.com. It is Thursday, May 20th, 2021. And this video is called How I'm Trying to Get Better at Writing Playlist Submissions to Spotify for Artists. How I'm Trying to Get Better at It, Right? Um, I have, it's, I have not been able to get any of my tracks that I pitched into Spotify curated playlists, and I'd like to get better at that process, trying to figure out what, maybe what I'm doing wrong and uh, refine that. And so that's what this video is about, how I'm trying to get better at it, right? So I know there are other, other artists who have gotten into Spotify curated playlists, and I'd like to join that club, hopefully in 2021, that'd be nice, right? And uh, anyway, I say this as somebody who is involved with a literary podcast for nearly a decade. The editors, one of which is my wife, um, had to deal with submissions. And, uh, you know, we had criteria and it was, it was best to follow the criteria. I've also written grants over the years, some of which have been approved. Again, you have a, just a tremendous list of criteria that you have to follow. Check those boxes off. Okay, so what's the first thing that I'm doing that I wasn't doing before? This is a new thing for me. Um, I'm saving my Spotify for artist pitches. I'm saving them. I'm having a, a historical record of them. I just uh, fire up a Notepad++ and paste the text in there that I'm uh, using in the submission. And that way I can see what I've submitted to them in the past. I did not save that in the past. I should save that to review, to refine, to get better at. And I save it in a text file and I throw it into my Microsoft OneNote. Um, the other thing I'm doing is I'm building public playlists with similar artists. I did that for a while. I kind of got away from that. And that's, I keep hearing that. I keep hearing that. That's part of what they talk about with community. And I'll talk more about that in, in a little bit here. But, uh, and then, so how do you build something like that? Well, what I've done, I, because I've been a, a listener of Spotify and have made many public and private playlists that I listen to or things that have come along the way through release radar, through recommendations or whatever. Anything that kind of sounds like me or sounds like we would be in the same ballpark, I throw it, I throw the track into, that particular private playlist. And then from that private playlist, I draw upon that and build a public playlist. Uh, you know, 20, 30 tracks, something like that. It's a couple hours. It, it doesn't have to be that difficult. Most of the artists on the, uh, on the playlist, they're not big names, but they've released music over time, stuff I like. Some may be in labels, some may be indie. Um, really, the main thing is are we all in the same musical neighborhood? That's what I'm looking at. I'm not even looking at, you know, are these other artists, are they in Spotify curated playlists? I, I, I don't really know if I really need to go to that level of effort here. So it's just trying to, you know, who do you sound like, right? Who do you sound like? And, and uh, not super famous people or anything like that. It doesn't have to be that way. Uh, because, you know, again, I'm indie, ambient. I'm, you know, I'm kind of on the margins, right? I'm in the niches. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, are we in the same musical neighborhood? The next thing that I'm concerned about here is what is Spotify's criteria? What are they looking for? And they tell you right here. They tell you right here, uh, when you're pitching to us, bear in mind that the editors love to learn about context and community. Give us the who, what, why, when, where, and how of your song in 500 characters. <laughs> who made it with you? When did you make it? When? Uh, why did you make it? When was it made? Where did you make it? If there's an interesting story around you or the song, please let us know. The music is key, but context is also health, extremely helpful to us. Whatever you do, we encourage you not to leave the note blank. The more information we have about the song you worked hard on, uh, the better. And of course, let you know about your promotional activities as well. I think I've, I think I've got that one down. You know, I talk about, uh, I've not talked about release schedules, but I do talk about 
how I do put all these tracks in playlists that I curate. And um, I also try to list similar artists in there as well. Uh, again, just trying to throw all that into the agenda. And that's hard. That is hard to do because you only have 500, I, I believe it's 500 characters. So you really have to be um, careful with, uh, with the, the space that you've, you've given. You have to be really, you have to, again, you have to go through this. Check, check, check all the boxes off. Check the boxes off, right? So you're going to have to learn to write. You're going to have to learn to edit. I know, I know. I've I've written things. I've edited things. I need to get better at it. I realize that. And the <clears throat> the final thing here, the final thing here. Let's go back to uh, let's go back to uh, let's go back to my website here. We'll hide that there because I'm live, right? The last thing that I do is that I'm starting to schedule my tracks more than a month out. You know, they always say, you know, you got a week. You can do you do do it in a week in advance. No, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not doing that any. That has not worked for me. Not that I did a week in advance. I would do two or three weeks. But then sometimes the the distributor um, would take a week or ten days to send it to Spotify, and then you get that notification in your uh, roster that that you could do a pitch, and then oh, I'm going to do a pitch, and the song goes live in you know a week. Like, do you, do you really think the, the amount of music coming into Spotify and the pitches, do you think they got time for that? You know, are they just sitting around waiting for your track to show up? Oh, gosh, there's Rushton's track. Gosh, I had nothing to do today. I think I'll listen to it. <laughs> so they need time. They need time. And um, a lot of time. A lot of time. So I'm trying to schedule things more than a month in advance. Uh, hour, more than a month out, right? And uh, uh, trying to see how that works. Um, single tracks or, you know, albums even. Schedule it way out. I, I've got, I've got stu- stuff right now in the pipeline way into July. And so we'll see how it goes, right? Anyway, that is it for today. How I'm trying to get better at writing playlist submissions to Spotify for artists. I guess it's on the bucket list for 2021. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to get one. It doesn't even have to be a big, it doesn't even have to be a big playlist. It'd be, it'd, it'd be nice to, you know, just a small playlist with, you know, just maybe just a few thousand followers. I know they get the, some of them out there have hundreds of thousands, millions or whatever. And just one of those little niche ones, the weird ones. That'd be nice. That'd be fun. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. I'm Mark Rushton at markrushton.com. Join my mailing list. Follow me on Spotify, and uh, we'll talk to you another day.